Hi, meteorologist Peter Hall. Here's a look at your forecast. And as we look ahead today, our weather right now, it's pretty cloudy. And I think the cloud cover is going to be the dominant feature of the course of the day. That doesn't mean we're not going to see any sun, but just figure more clouds than anything else. We'll have some scattered sprinkles and showers morning, midday, early afternoon. Now, I think the best chance for sun happens at and after 3 p.m. and, of course, until sunset. Wide range high temperatures. Syracuse, I think, gets to around 65. Cooler up north, warmest down south, and I'll show you this on the future cast. Overall, tonight is super mild. Normal low is 40. We should be at least 15 degrees above normal. So as we take a look at what to expect, sort of temperamental temperatures, because we have differences across the area, which I just talked about and we'll show you again. Coolest weather region wide happens between Friday and Saturday morning. So for that about 24 to 30 hour period, it's going to feel nippy. And after that, though, we do warm it up a little bit back to normal on Saturday and we'll have brighter skies Friday and Saturday compared to what we're going to see today through the first two thirds of Thursday and again on Sunday where we'll have more cloud cover. So let's talk about your future weather with future cast and we've got cloud cover and a couple of passing sprinkles and showers. The best chance for the most sun happens mid to late afternoon. Now it's a wide range of temperatures figure it's mid 60s slightly slicing through central New York, perhaps near 70 for Ithaca. It's tough to see, but that says 55 in Watertown. So ranging from mid 50s to lower 70s, that's a huge range, isn't it? Overnight tonight, we're expecting temperatures to not really fall at all. We're going to be very warm overnight, lower 60s to mid and upper 50s. Now, note by tomorrow morning, a couple of scattered showers or a th a maybe even a thunder shower. And despite starting in the lower 60s, basically holding steady and then slightly falling in the afternoon. One more shower possible midday and then the sun comes out late, but temperatures start falling. Thursday night to Friday morning, some minor lake effect clouds possibly a flurry. Then the sun comes out, but it's colder. It's a seasonably cool start, upper 30s to near 40, but with a persistent north by northwest wind, despite sunshine Friday, probably not getting out of the upper 40s, which is below normal. So you're going to feel Friday being crisp and the Friday afternoon high very reminiscent of what we had this weekend. We'd get out of the 40s. Total sunshine today, not much, 10%. 25% sun, most of that late in the afternoon Thursday, but 75% sunshine expected for Friday. Well, with extra cloud cover between now and again Thursday morning, there's a fairly high probability for passing sprinkles and showers, and again, scattered morning showers tomorrow. Only a one in three chance of a stray flurry. If it happens, it's no biggie Friday, but throw, throw that out there. Most of Saturday is dry. Now, there's a tiny chance at the end of the day closer to dinner time that we might get a shower, but the best chance for showers happens at and after sunset Saturday and a leftover sprinkle of shower on Sunday. Let's get to it. Normal high for this period is the upper 50s. Normal low is in the upper 30s to near 40. So with that in mind, the high temperature today is a little bit above normal. The low temperature tomorrow morning is well above normal at 56. A little above normal for the high tomorrow, then near normal for the low Friday morning, below normal for the high Friday afternoon, and below normal temperatures Saturday morning. Back to normal highs Saturday and Sunday and then variable from Monday and Tuesday. I'm meteorologist Peter Hall. Have you checked out our website? You got to check out interactive Doppler radar, which you can zoom in. And then the live triple Doppler radar is a new feature that shows the live stream in an hour loop so you can see how things are going.